just a little after, a little before sunrise actually. I got Randy here. We got Ida here. We got La Plata about four and a half miles out here. Uh, we're headed down the trail. And uh, if you've been watching the other episodes, you know that um, we found grouse on the other side of La Plata, <coughs> but we also found out that we couldn't make it to the top with dogs. Uh, it just got a little too challenging. So we've decided to come back and take another swing at it uh, and uh, see what we can do. We're gonna come in from the north side today and uh, see if we can find any birds on this side. And <coughs> maybe we'll get lucky and make it to the top. Uh, it's about 38 degrees right now. <coughs> um, and uh, yeah, but, uh, it's gonna be a good day. I'll give you an update when we get down the trail here. Okay, come on. about a mile in and here is where the trail points up and it's really first chance for your body to start throwing up the red flags um, this trailhead it starts on private the trail runs I guess a little over a mile on private so we're respecting that shotgun's open um, and uh, unloaded get into the national forest up here. We'll uh, officially start hunting. Got to get the uh, legs warmed up. Lungs expanded. As you can see, really good time of year to be out here hiking, hunting. The aspens have started to change. It's making everything really pop. Sun's on the adjacent peak. <sighs> begins the uh, layer game. <laughs> <coughs> if you've watched the other episodes, you've heard me say it, but 
I'll reiterate it here. You uh, don't want to sweat on these mountains. That is using way too much hydration. And if we start climbing, we're going to be dropping layers. And then probably when we get above tree line and get cold again, we're probably going <coughs> to add them. <coughs> add them back. But <coughs> down to just the base layer now. And onward. clearing here get a good idea of what we're in for I guess that's where we're headed so a little bit of work left to do probably the last chance for water here I imagine we're gonna start switch back and climbing out uh, that's pretty aggressive. <laughs> I imagine we've got a couple thousand. Hey, Randy, let these guys by. I imagine we got a couple thousand plus. a little over two miles in and uh, they start switch back in you up this chute uh, on the way up to the spine up there but and I'll tell you what we just gained <coughs> probably 800 feet of elevation in no time so uh, here's where it gets challenging uh, I climb out but those first two miles are pretty <coughs> pretty flat and uh, so you know it's going to catch up to you yeah we're uh, on the way up now for sure Face 
just right down there. This crumbly stuff can kick loose rocks pretty quick, uh, so we don't want her really running above us. Uh, we want her to stick kind of close to the trail. You may have noticed we're not running Rio today, and that's because <coughs> excuse me, she's kind of beat up, uh, sore paws, so we just let her sit the day out. So I'm not really expecting birds, but maybe when we get out on the spine. <laughs> Finally, we have broken into our first sun of the hike. And uh, feels good. We're just about three hours in. Uh, that little section there coming up that chute, I don't know exactly what the elevation gain was, but it was substantial. <sighs> Ways to go. This is where I'm starting to look a little birdier. I saw her up there at the corner of the trail. She stopped and saw these birds. She was looking at me to give her the release. They were sitting right there. There was another one. This is a young bird. Um, you can tell by the size of it. She's still working another one. Good girl. Only we don't 
hunt 14ers. <laughs> Bigger eye. She's still working it. Yeah. There's probably been some more birds in there. You can tell she's been birded the whole way. <laughs> we got hikers coming up below us, so I'm not going to shoot on down that way. Uh, they're going to fly down, so we'll just keep hiking up. Good deal. sun and out of the wind <coughs> on the other side of the ridge oh, the wind's probably blowing 35 40 mile an hour <coughs> it's cold cold so just take a little break here energy up hydrate done it to us again <coughs> we were kind of hoping this boulder field would subside a little bit and give us a chance here it's just super tough on dogs um, even Ida when we're slowing her down we could start to sand her pads off just it's frustrating in some ways uh, you know it's really beautiful up here but again we have to manage for long-term safety for dogs so see how highly we manage this <laughs> scenario we've got another hour to the top and it honestly looks like it's boulder field the entire way and uh, I want to climb up there I feel like I've got enough energy in some ways um, but it's just getting way too much for a little girl <laughs> and if, she hurts her pads up here, and we're out for days and days. 
Jones. So, La Plata wins again. Uh, well, not exactly because we've got a bird. <laughs> um, so, the mountain is giving me the birds. They're not really giving me the sunflowers. see what she's having to negotiate here. Okay. I... easy. She's acting birdie right there, Randy. She's acting birdie. <clears throat> easy. See so he's still between those two rocks. You see him? Go get it, I. You see him? Between those two big boulders, right in the shade. He's sitting in the shade. He's moving up. There he goes. Hide behind that rock. He's behind that rock, I think, on the top side. You got two guys coming down the trail here too, so. I 
I think you'd have to get on the high side and shoot down. Yeah. That's where it gets difficult because you shoot down, pull the dog down, it just makes it really hard. That's okay. Coming back down into the big clearing, back into the trees. La Plata is a giver and a taker. You know, the start of this trail is deceiving and tame and uh, when it decides to turn up it turns up hard if you're gonna do a plata with dogs you're gonna have to really consider that what we figured out the last three quarters of a mile probably mm -hmm. is bouldering and uh, I don't know about your dogs, but that's tough on our dogs. So, what'd you learn about La Plata, Randy? More challenging than I expected. I did not expect that long boulder finish at the end. A thousand foot of vertical bouldering was uh, really challenging. I think if you're going light and it's just you and you're not carrying water or guns, you probably could make it. Maybe there's a guy out there who's carrying water and guns and wants to make it anyways. Those boulder fields aren't really probably prime bird habitat but it is a good view from up there I'm sure hey if you're not invested in wild places it's time to get invested in wild places if you're not a bird hunter and want to learn more about the ultimate underdog species of playing birds you should follow us on Facebook Instagram Twitter and of course subscribe right down there on YouTube certainly appreciate you following us along if you are a bird hunter stop chasing limits and start testing your own we're headed to town to get some pizza I think well deserved sign off Ida Hey, I do not know what you are doing, but we run around entirely too hard in these videos for you not to subscribe. So, subscribe, then watch another video, then send me a biscuit. No, send us a biscuit. No, send me two biscuits and her one.